Hello guys, I'm just trying to straighten that up. I'm just starting in the day. I'm doing a few straight off here, um, so the phone doesn't get blocked. So yeah, as you know, I lived in Redcar for a while. I used to go out in Edmund. Some of them used to go out with us in the nightclubs and that over there. So we go to this nightclub one night, and called Silks, and it changed hands. So we haven't been out for a few months over Redcar. It changed hands from one bloke I bought it and sold to this lad from Leeds, but I didn't know where they were. And this is the one with the white jackets I'm getting at. So he goes in and um, goes to the door and a big, 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 big leg long alley type bloke comes to the door. And he's working there. The only work on on you at work there with these. He went, hey, bro, you got it? And anyway, didn't want us in. He just didn't really want us to come to the club, this bloke. Anyway, he said, I uh, oh, can't get in there because there's such and such. I mean, he said, new rules. I went, who are you fucking talking to? He said, he comes. So I pushed him out of the way and I've got in. Anyway, two dogs have come at me and went bang, bang, and dropped both of them. Not hard, just to jab, jab, jab like that in the mouth. But when they asked, they've gone in, another two come at me, and I've just grabbed them. They've only bought 11, 12 stone. I fucking pulled them together. Fuck off, I said, you idiots. So I've gone in, never hit any fuck. I only jabbed them in the mouth. Anyway, fucking goes in. I'm in the club. The next minute, um, there's, uh, goes in, seeing all the lads. We're all talking, I'm not. Now, but anyway, they phoned the police. But I'd had trouble before at that club. They didn't know, but with someone else, another owner. So the police had got caught before for me, and they sort of said to the, the new owner from Leeds, they went, oh, there's only 11 of us on tonight, so we're going to have to get some more backup from Middlesbrough and from um, maybe Stockton. So he's on. The, he's been on the phone. And anyway, he's come He's come in the club, and this Bobby, it's called um, Ray Milner, he was called, he was the inspector. He comes in, and uh, he says, right, uh, Brian, I've got no trouble. The lad wants you out of the club. He said, made us, made, made, he's made us, made phoned up and made a complaint. You've assaulted the dorm and everything, but none of them made, no one's charging you. We just want you to leave the club. I said, I'm not leaving the club, so I've grabbed this lad on the side and on the news, boom, 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 I've raved stuff. So I've pulled, I said, if I get fucking moved out of here, you, you're going to get shot. I guarantee you get shot. I was fucking fuming with him. I said, stop this fucking now. Let me stay in the club. I'll give you my word. Nobody will cause trouble. So cop goes, come on, Brian, I've got, well, I've got a, the streets full of police officers all, all the way down the street. So, anyway, my mates come in, Roy Morley, and I'll tell you what he says in a minute. So, anyway, the cop goes, come on, Brian, I've got a full squad of police outside for waiting if you any trouble. I says, well, if you want to write, you can have a write now. With the, with the, the lads had all come round me then, you see, about 20 lads in the club, and I went, I went like that to the lads, and I walked over, because he was on his own, this copper. And he looked and he shit himself and said, if you want to cause a fucking riot, but I'll have a riot in here, I don't give a fuck. I said, I've done fuck all along, I'm not going. I said, so you tell him now, so you went, oh no, he's all right, you can see it, it's a mix up. So the copper, I remember it, remember it, because he had brown gloves on, he usually most people have black gloves. And he pulled these gloves off, like, off his right hand, his left hand, he shook me on, he said, give me a word. I said, yes, my word, where's my, where's my I, I promise you, there'll be no trouble. And we stayed in for about another 20, 30 minutes, and just got to be. And we ended up talking to the manager of the club, that's no wonder, the owner, manager, wherever he was. When I said that's when he said that, I thought it must have been special because they said we've only got 11 officers on. <laughs> they said, uh, so I knew there was something on, but when I came out, I seen Roy, he said, I fucking knew it'd be you. He said, there's only the amount of places. It was like Rick Cassif when he said it was like Blackpool illuminations, all the blue lights right down the street and vans and cars and dog sections and all fucking sorts. So another story, that was in Silks Nightclub, a red car, back in the day. So just another story there, guys, for you to listen to. So thanks very much for listening to me again. See you soon.